No, I've been lucky. Everybody's been great. All the actors. I mean, uh, the best guy to, to whose head we cast, which is a horrendous experience if you're, you know, claustrophobic. But the best guy was E.G. Marshall. He was like 75. He is. <laughs> okay, get it over with, you know. And the worst was uh, Farley Granger from. Um, what was the movie? Uh, the the Prowler, wasn't it? The, not the Prowler. Yeah, the Prowler. Yeah, Farley Granger. He actually started crying under it. You know, he was. It was really, you know. But look, I mean, if you're makeup people, or if you're casting people's heads, or if you're getting your head cast or anything, it takes about eight people to do it. Two of them are holding the person's hands <laughs> on either side. Okay, so they know there's somebody right there. Okay. And one person is constantly talking. It's usually me talking in their ear, okay? Then you, you play music for them, you know? If they want to go smoke a joint, yeah, go do it, you know? <laughs> uh, whatever relaxes you enough. But there has to be music, their favorite music, people holding their hands, somebody constantly talking, so you know if you stop breathing, someone's there, you know, right away, you know? And then the people are doing the work, you know? So, anyway, my makeup effects lesson in five minutes. Yes? What made you decide how Jason among would? Uh, you know, Jason looked like a guy that I saw in my neighborhood when I was a kid, you know. You know, yeah, one ear was lower than the other, you know, he looked like Quasimodo with weird eyes, you know, so I modeled it after that. Is that what that it was guy. supposed to be in the script? Or? No, 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 they, they had no idea in the script what Jason looked like. In fact, the whole ending, they had no ending uh, for the first one. I created the idea of Jason jumping out of the lake, and, and I suggested that to them, and they said, no, no, but Jason's dead. No, I'm making a dream. You know, as soon as you show it, it was a whole TV series, wasn't it? Dallas, where JR comes out of the shower or something? You know, the whole season was a dream, okay? So I said, well, if you show something like that, you can get away with anything as long as it's a dream. You know, the audience accepts it, so. Um, and even in part four, they didn't have an ending for the killing of Jason, you know? My idea was, you know, in part four, Corey Feldman was this little amateur scientist with makeup effects and stuff, you know? I wanted him to take a micro, microwave oven apart and put a, a reflector behind the microwave shooter and, you know, melt on, on a scale of 1 to 10 on his Variac, go to 1 and melt a toy soldier. And then during the Jason fight, stick it in Jason's head, turn it up to 10, and like have cook Jason's head from the middle, have it explode, you know? They said, no, the, the formula for Friday the 13th is killing naked teenagers in the woods with household implements, you know. So. Well, I said, well, microwave is a household implement. <laughs> but not back then, you know, microwave was kind of new, you know, so. So we stuck to the formula, you know, I used the machete from, uh, from Dawn of the Dead. You had a question? Yeah, go ahead. Yes, first I'd like to say uh, thank you for your military service. You're welcome. Uh, I would also like to ask, aside from Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez, what other filmmakers are you impressed with today? Well, you know, George, I've done nine movies with George Romero, you know, um, and he's, he's great because he, uh, he lets you improvise. As an actor, you can improvise. As the effects guy, I mean, we would sit around and think of ways to kill people and go to him and, hey, George, how about if we, you know, drive a screwdriver through a zombie's ear from a tool belt and they'd go, okay. <laughs> Two hours later, we're cutting straws and painting them silver and making retractable screwdrivers and doing it. Something we thought. In fact, I think 60% of the deaths in Dawn of the Dead are things that we came up with, you know. The rest were things in the script, so we actually filled in a lot of effects work for that. Yes? Uh, I'm a 